Hello everybody, Mayo Doctor here more Legend of the Blue Blur, where I play through every single Sonic game in chronological order they release. In the last video, I finished off mission mode and got 60 out of 60 of those, and now we've got to go through this. Fun, fun oh, stuff. All of these emblems. I'm going to start here with these mini games, but I imagine this is probably going to be the most painful part of the bunch, so... I'm just going to get it out of the way. So, as I explained at the very end of that last video... What oh, right, I ended on big, so I'm gonna have to listen to his commentary! <laughs> well, okay. Let's start with something fairly easy. Or at least it should be fairly easy. The Hedgehog Hammer. Now, I tried looking up a few guides before I started this, because I just knew how much of a pain this was gonna be. And this minigame here was the most confusing of the bunch. Nobody seemed to be 100% sure of what you needed to do in order to beat this once, let alone twice. So basically what I've got to do is run around and try a lot. Some people seem to think it's related to your high score, some don't. Some th think it has to do with how many times you hit a Supersonic or a Robotnik. It's confusing no matter what guide you use, though. It's it's a mess. In those cases where it just, it's clear that nobody knows what you have to do. Ah! Nightman showed up. And the worst part is the delay on Amy's hammer. And I guess you could go like this, but that's just waiting for a disaster. Oh! Well, I guess the first element is just for beating it. Okay. And now is this one gonna be where I have to beat my high score? Oh, that's a good start. Ah, darn it. Supersonic popped up for too short a time. Uh, I'm getting a lot of supers. Not that I'm complaining. I'm totally happy with a bunch of supers. Oh, that, that counted! Uh, I guess I should be counting my blessings that didn't hit the Robotnik. I got 35, is that enough? Let's see. 35 is enough. Or maybe it has to do with how many times you hit Robotnik, or whatever. Like I said, it's the confusing one. No one seems to be certain of what you have to do. I'm going to use Knuckles for this next one. If it'll let me. Yep, Twinkle Circuit. This should be one you can do with anyone, but I'm just using Knuckles. Also, you get a unique car for everyone. We already know what Sonic looks like, because it's in the main game. It's just a blue car. And everyone else, is, it, it's what you think it is. Knuckles got this red one. Tails has a yellow. Amy pink. Biggs is purple. And it goes on like that. Now, this one I'm pretty sure was a matter of the first trial, or the first emblem, is just to beat it at all. And the second one you have to beat a certain time. But that's a safe bet. <laughs> also, everyone has these really weird voice clips they make when they jump. I think my favorite of the bunch is probably Big. It's beautiful. It's like, WHOA! <laughs> Maybe I can do big on the time trial. Since I'm pretty sure everyone plays the same. Whoa. Really, the only character I don't want to play as for this is Sonic, because I've seen plenty of Sonic already for these bits. Also, it's a remix that doesn't matter. Nice. It's beautiful. I know SA2 does this a bit more, where they used remixed versions of the songs for background. It's a little more subtle in that game. But this one's like, it's not subtle at all. Like, just one listen to it doesn't matter, and like, this is that. Not that I mind being obvious. And just like in Twinkle Park, the more rings you get, the faster you're gonna go. 
So if you're worried about your time, that could be something you want to focus on. Just trying to get a bunch of rings very quickly. But obviously don't turn around for them. It's, uh, it's a bad idea. I like that 10 there, I'm probably never going to get that. Just a little more. What's my time at anyway? Two minutes? Uh, the best time is ten minutes. Wow. What do you want to play? Yeah, I'm gonna get an emblem for this. Okay, quit. I'm doing it. We're doing biggie. Actually, do I still have one of those open? I will shamelessly look it up. <laughs> oh, it's not actually that bad at all. It's set to your own time. So, I'm gonna have to be 2.06. Oh, never mind, he has a green car. So maybe it's not set to characters. <laughs> I like how big as his fishing rod. Let's do it, Biggie! He seems to control a bit better in Knuckles, but I'm thinking there might be a speed hit here. We'll see. See what I mean? This is beautiful. That, that voice clip is wonderful. <laughs> that should have been included in the main game somewhere. I got 43 rings in one lap. Or 50 rings in one lap, technically. Seriously, I think the best part is the fact that the fishing rod is just sitting upright in the car. That, that's nice. That's a nice detail. Okay, give me the rings. I'm going to see if it actually helps me any. Slow down for a minute. Probably not. Oh, those are only five capsules? Never mind then. Hmm. We're almost at the end of the second lap. 80 rings. Okay, I'm probably not gonna hit 99, just I don't see it happening. Like, I mean, I'm sure I could if I stopped and got every ring, but... Oh, no, 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 speed up. I was clipping just a little too close to the wall. It's gonna have to be good enough, let's go! What are we up against again, 206? Maybe not. Uh, or wait a minute. Here. I did beat 206, but I might not get the emblem because I just noticed something. Oh, I did get it, thank goodness. I got it. I was worried because I noticed the best time is still 10 minutes. Okay, just to be sure, like, let's go over to Tails and see what his Twinkle Circuit is. Yes, he has them both, good. <laughs> I'm dreading these two. Oh boy, especially this one. This one just sucks. <laughs> okay, Sand Hill. You can do this one with Sonic or Tails, but Tails is the one that most of us actually know because it's required in the story. Let's do it. Uh oh. Controls are still a little janky. Nope, don't hit the rocks, don't hit the rocks! <laughs> no rocks, please! Billy, just don't hit anything. Just want to get as many of these gates as possible. Okay, now there's this. I think I'm close to the end, right? There can't be that much left. Yeah, this is the end. 
X27 at the end. Please be enough, please be enough, please be enough, please be enough, please be enough. I think that's enough. I think. I'm not sure. I didn't pay attention to the high score. No, it wasn't. I gotta do skin. High score is 10,000. Ah. I was probably thinking of that first sky chase. Fine. Ah, I hit that rock again. Actually, restart it. X5 is a big difference. I'm gonna go for not hitting that speed panel. Okay, I need to learn how to navigate this path. Do the cacti have a uh, collision? It seems like they do, but they push you away immediately, so it's not really something you have to worry about. Okay, good. As someone that lives in the desert themselves, I can tell you that that is not how it works, but I don't care. I've, uh, I've had more than my fair share of uh, experiences with cacti. Up close and personal experiences. Very painful, up close, up, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I had an entire cactus stuck to my back for about an entire afternoon. Th that was fun. Oh, I'm almost out of lives. D unlike Ice Cap, there's no rings here. There's just no room for air here. This doesn't seem like there is. Ah, I missed two. Like if you look up at the score up there, you can see what happens when you have these chains going together. Like each gate will be worth more than the last. That's what I'm going for. I saw that one over there! Funny noises, nah. I missed a gate! And then I hit a wall and. What do you want to play? I mean, really, I'm just glad I finally got past those terrible missions, but. Eh, this won't be enough. That won't be nearly enough. That probably won't even break 8,000. It was... 7,000, so yeah. That was way too many combo breaks. Just 27? Couldn't cut it or whatever it was that first time? There's no way 11 was gonna do it. Over here. Oh, don't hit any walls. The walls are lava. <laughs> I missed. Uh, I missed the gate. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. But uh, quitting coming back resets me of four lives since I'm not actually in the adventure map or anything. I should probably take advantage of that. Try it again. We're gonna get one of these days. Gonna get it, gonna get it, and we're gonna now. Yeah, no, no, nope, we are definitely not gonna get that wall, are we? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy you're missing that one. Walls are lava. I'm gonna have to quit and come back if this attempt isn't it. Keep going. Oh, there's a gate there I can probably take advantage of. I mean, it's one more gate, right? Well, if I wind up being within one gate point, doodad. 
Couldn't remember that. I don't even know if this is a definitive route, but it seems like there's enough gates here that if I hit them all in a row, I'll be good. Keep going, gotta keep going. Do not run into any walls. That is the worst. Yeah, that gate. Actually, on second thought, that gate makes it very hard to the other gate. And that one's probably more important, considering it's closer. Gotta remember, don't hit the speed panels. Speed panel's bad. Okie doke. Run back over here. Now, I don't even know if this is the best route to take. Really. Just hoping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Um, nom, 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 nom. Oh, okay. Are we fine? Nah. Let's go again. We're up to zero lives again. Oh, what a surprise! It didn't work. Get down, 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 down. Sand hill, sand hill. This isn't even the hard part. The hard part is. Having to go through Sky Chase over and over and over again. Thankfully, Ice Cap doesn't have any more emblems associated with it. Well, it does, but I mean, like, the Ice Cap minigame, which is very similar to this. It's basically the Ice Cap level, but you have a bunch of these gates that you have to go through. You can technically play through it if you want, but there's no real incentive for doing so. Okay, no speed boosters here. Speed boosters when going down hills like this is bad for the physics engine. Actually, in general, speed seems bad for the physics engine, which is a really big problem if you think about it. But, or actually, even if you don't think about it, it's pretty bad. <laughs> you have a speed-oriented game, and it breaks if you go fast. These gates. I missed one. Oh, but looks like I'm gonna get both of these. And then I missed another one. Uh, Here it comes on it. I tried to recover that. But when the number went away, there was no hope. Wait, what? No. Alright, let me look to controls. I don't want to make the controls any more screwed up than they already are. Thank you very much. <sighs> we'll get this. We will definitely get this. Alright. I was gonna go, I just I went away. Oh, I still have lives, do I? Restart! Thankfully, future games in the series shouldn't be quite this restart heavy. The only other game I can think of maybe having trouble with is this direct sequel of this game, I say too, but... Heroes, I'm probably just gonna quit if I die at all. And then restart that way. The same goes for Shadow, 06, Unleashed, and pretty much every game after. Since... Uh, I can't really think of anything else that'll pull an ice cap on me. For Mission 53. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely some difficult missions in Unleashed, but... Nothing nearly that bad. <laughs> I missed both of them! No! Ah! That's the furthest I've made it, too. Well, furthest I made it in a while. Maybe I should have just gone through that for practice, but eh. Okay, hit that 
arcades. Hey, don't freak out at the fact that I'm going down a hill. It freaked out that I was going down a hill. I don't even push left or right that much. It's just little nudges. It completely freaks out. It's like, a right nudge. No, my worst nightmare. No. <laughs> I'm not even at the hard part yet. Lost the combo again. If I ever mentioned I really don't like desert levels, I, I, I live in a desert. It reminds me a little too much of home. I'm like You probably could have figured that out from the cactus story, but in case you didn't, I'm a desert dweller and I <laughs> it makes me really dislike desert levels. Especially ones like this. What kind of world do you live in that has a saguaro cactus in it with runes like this? Saguaro cacti are only native to the Sonora Desert. I can't think of any runes that would be jumping around like this. Though maybe I just haven't looked outside enough. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Definitely haven't seen any jumping snakes, but I think you can chalk that one up to video game logic. Don't freak out, game. Don't freak out. Ah, oh, darn it. I nudged just a little too far. I need to just start avoiding these dash panels entirely. That They're not helping at all. Well, maybe that one. That one's fine. That one doesn't seem to mess me up at all, and I lose all that speed anyway. But everything else I should probably avoid. Nope. Yeah! No! There's two gates over here. And there's that gate over there. Okay, now let's just get all the gates here. Uh, hey, okay. hey, um, uh, I got 38 this time. Please be enough. Yes! <laughs> yes! 12,000, that's definitely enough. Uh, 59 emblems. Just for sake of checking. Trial. How am I doing on the subs? Mini game. It's just the Sky Chase or Sky Deck or nope. Sky Deck's the actual level. You can choose Sonic or Tails here. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna stick with Tails. But literally, the only thing that changes is the life icon in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. This is definitely the easier of the two. So let's start with this. Act one is fairly simple. Act two is a nightmare. It's, uh, it is one of the hardest challenges in the entire franchise. I don't think there's any actual combo system or the like in this game, so if you want to just lock onto one or two and then charge up again, you can. Which is funny, because there was a combo system even back in the sand hill. I guess they just decided it wasn't worth it here. Oh, there's another one over here. Oops. Maybe there is a system like that and I just didn't see it. Um, I feel like I'm already missing too many. At the very least, you can gauge pretty well just based on your score alone. The time is pretty much going to be the same regardless.
There's some more planes. Just knock him out that way. It worked. Ugh, the lock on is so finicky. Ugh. I can't even see where the cursor is half the time. There's no way of knowing how to control it. Uh... You know what? I, I, I know that these two missions are going to take me a very, very long time to beat. But I could legitimately be here the rest of the day. Well, I've been at it for a little over half an hour now, and I found some pretty bad news. So the long short of it is, I can't beat it. Like, it is genuinely impossible on the version of the game I'm playing. Or at the very least, without a task bot or something like that, and even then there's no guarantee. Because, for some reason, in this particular game, the AI works differently when you have different resolutions, and the version of the game I'm playing is at a set resolution where the turrets fire less. And since shooting off the bullets the turrets fire out gives you points, it is impossible for me to finish either of them. I think the highest I wound up getting was a little over 5,500. And granted, I never got a super high accuracy, but I think that even if I got everything, I would only get up to about 7,000. Maybe not even that. So, I hate to leave it on a note like that, but it can't be done. I I'm sorry. It literally cannot be done. If you are playing on an one of the PC versions and you do have Windows, and you have this problem, set to the lowest resolution possible. Low resolution is good. But, again, not an option for me. So... This is where I have to end my sub-game hunt. I'll see you next time for the proper emblems. But I guess for these last two, I'll just use an online save file or something.